It's the Mythbusters MacGyver special. It's time to take the antics of one Angus MacGyver, place him under the Mythbusters microscope, and separate fact from fiction. Are you ready? The fans beg for it, so we're doing it. Mac versus the Mythbusters. He's one of the boys' all-time heroes. But there comes a time when the student must challenge the master. Ask me why I'm swinging this bottle around. Okay, why are you swinging this bottle around? This has to do with the very first MacGyver myth we're actually testing, which we're calling sodium jailbreak. In this episode, Mac needs a hole in a wall in a hurry. Knowing that alkaline metals react violently with water, he packs pure sodium inside a gel cap and drops it in a bottle filled with water. The capsule works like a fuse. By the time it dissolves, Mac and his special new friend have time to duck and cover. It's all very clever, but would it really work? Just to be safe, they wheel in a mobile, see-through laboratory for the small-scale tests. Well, I pulled out the birds in a truck truck. When it's got the whole clear side, I'm going to park that outside Jamie's shop. With Jamie scouting locations for the full-scale test, Tori volunteers to help Adam build the test rig. With a pulley, a weight, yeah, perfect. a bowl of water, and a glass vial of metal sodium, Adam hopes to test the explosive potential without bringing the house down. They're using an open bowl of water, not a sealed bottle. So if there's any truth to this at all, we should get the show without the shrapnel. I'll cut that string, break the glass that the sodium's in, release it into the water, and show us what happens. Pure sodium is so volatile, it could even react with moisture in the air. So, better safe than singed. <laughs> That's why I am so well protected from any kind of splashback, toxicity, anything. Nothing can get inside my suit and with the face shield on, I think I'm properly protected. Giant banana number two reduces the risk by painting the tray with mineral oil. This gasoline byproduct stops alkali metals from reacting with atmospheric water. Kind of like a cooking show, except for to kill you. <laughs> okay, so now it's sitting on the mineral oil. Everyone, eyes open. This is for real. It's scary. The sodium metal cuts just like butter. Look at that. Whoa. That is far out. So that, oh my gosh. All right, so. That's just metal. Two small slices make one thin gram. And that's exactly what MacGyver used to blow a hole in a wall. One gram of sodium. It looks so innocuous. It's part of table salt, for crying out loud. Good luck. I'll see you at the shield. Be careful. Hey, Adam's middle name is careful. Then again, his last name is, well, let's get on with it. They'll do this test twice, first with the vial sitting on top of the water. So this is sodium surface test in three, two, one. Wah, wah. No, no, it's going to take a second. There you go. <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> it wasn't a single reaction. It was like a pow, 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 which actually lends credence to the MacGyver clip in which there are two bangs, not just one. But will this bonsai 4th of July ever be big enough to blow a man-sized hole through solid masonry? The boys repeat the test with a sodium vial immersed in water. From what I understand from the science, being under the water is probably going to be less of a reaction than being on top of the water. Interesting. Yeah. All right, let's find out. This is sodium underwater in three, two, one. That looks like it worked. Yeah. Whoa! Well, that was a bigger one. Yeah. You have to wonder if Adam ever gets tired of being wrong. MacGyver got it right, and that's a good enough result for Jamie to call in the contractors. Okay, you guys are gonna build a wall. We're gonna blow it up, do a good job anyway. Let's go. Yeah. 